Want to stop all the puppy accidents and start teaching your puppy to potty outside? For the best puppy training tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and be sure to hit the bell to stay notified. I post new content each week and I don't want you to miss out. Are you ready to stop smelling urine and poop in your house? Want to stop spending money on potty pens? If you're ready to teach your puppy to go potty outside, then it's time to ditch the potty pads. By the end of this video, you're going to know why potty pads are a bad idea and what tips you should take to ensure your puppy successfully goes potty outside. I have taught thousands of new puppy owners my proven potty training techniques to get their puppies to quickly learn to go potty outside, and now I want to share those tips with you too. Michelle here with How to Train a Dream Dog, the online platform for new puppy owners. Let's get started. Here's the deal. Puppy pads seem convenient, right? You put a pee pad down, the puppy should know exactly where to go. It sounds simple. Well, <laughs> if you want to teach your puppy to go potty outside, you need to stop using pee pads inside right now. Even if you don't think they're really ready to go outside just yet. The message you're sending your puppy is, it's okay to go potty in the house or pretty much anywhere in here. After all, pee pads are usually scented to encourage puppies to go on them. The pee pad is like a big bullseye in your home that teaches your puppy to pee and poo on your floors. The problem is that although most puppies quickly learn to use the pad, most soon start going off the pad next to the pad, and eventually anywhere in the house it seems similar to a pad, like a rug or a carpet. Puppies quickly find it fun to drag pee pads around the house and tear up potty pads to shreds. If you start from day one by using a pee pad to potty train your puppy, then it will be harder to transition them to go potty outside. They will learn that going inside is great, no need to go outside. Setting good habits from the very beginning is extremely important with puppy training. The skills you teach them at an early age can last a lifetime. This can be good and bad. Good when we want to teach them things like good manners, but <laughs> bad when we accidentally teach them things we don't want them to do as an adult dog, like go potty in the house, or jump, or bite which all seem really cute when puppies are little, but not so cute when puppies turn into adult dogs. In order to quickly potty train your puppy to go outside, you'll want to immediately remove the pee pads and start working on teaching your puppy to signal to you when they need to go outside. We can teach them to ring a set of potty bells to signal to you that they need to go outside. Make sure you grab my free puppy training starter kit for details on this. The link is below. Okay, back to pee pads. <laughs> Don't take the pee pad and take it outside to try to teach them to go in the grass on a pee pad. Just remove the pee pad altogether. This is a common myth and a newbie mistake that just confuses the puppy. You'll want to watch my video, Stop Puppy From Peeing In The House, for even more of my best potty training tips and techniques. Also, when you keep your puppy on a schedule and take them out frequently and reward them for going in the right spot, you'll start to see results a lot faster. The longer you wait to take them outside because you're using pee pads, the stronger the habit to go inside becomes. If your puppy isn't fully up to date on vaccinations, no problem. You're going to want to set up a puppy pen outside to keep all the other critters and animals away from your potty spot. This gives your puppy a safe and designated spot to go outside and having one potty spot can actually make potty training go a whole lot faster. Your puppy is gonna quickly learn to go potty in the same spot each time they get rewarded for going in the potty pen. The potty pen can keep your puppy on track when you take them out too. Sometimes puppies get easily sidetracked by distractions, so using the potty pen can help them stay on track, on task, and focused. You'll still want to take them out on a leash so they get used to going potty on the leash. Many puppy owners that don't teach their puppy that it's okay to go potty on a leash have a harder time when they travel with their puppy. 
Puppies need to learn they can potty in other places once they're up to date on vaccinations, like at parks and friends' and family's homes. And working on this skill on a leash from the beginning is super helpful. The only reason I would use pee pads with a puppy or a dog is if they had a medical condition that hindered their ability to go outside, or if their human had a medical condition that hindered their ability to go outside. Otherwise, it's more natural for dogs to want to go pee and poo outdoors. Now that you know exactly why I don't use pee pads or potty pads when I potty train a puppy, you'll be able to quickly learn to teach your puppy to go potty outside. Okay, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and get notified when my new content comes out. And grab the Puppy Training Starter Kit. Remember, the link is below. If you like this video, please let me know by hitting the like button and share it with another puppy owner so they can learn to potty train their puppy fast. Tell me in the comments below what potty training dilemmas are you dealing with. Leash? Man, potty training puppies are like puppy pee pad potty, it's like all a tongue twister. <laughs>